Welcome. I am so happy to be with you again. As you can see it in the title, we are talking about revival and reformation. Revival and reformation are two different things. Revival signifies a renewal of spiritual life, a quickening of the powers of mind and heart, a resurrection from spiritual death. However, reformation signifies a reorganization, a change in ideas and theories, habits and practices. Reformation will not bring forth the good fruit of righteousness unless it is connected with the revival of the spirit. Revival and reformation are to do their appointed work and in doing this work, they must blend. If you have your Bible, open it in Reve Revelation chapter 3 verse 15 to 18. Here Jesus was talking to the church in Laodicea. He said, I know your deeds that you are neither cold nor hot. I, I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about, about to spit you out of my mouth. You say I am rich, I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold that we find in the we find in the fire so you can be become rich and white clothes to wear so you can cover your shameful nakedness and salve to put on your eyes uh, so you can see uh, here you see jesus presents himself as a heavenly merchant where he is asking us to buy these things he said i am about to spit you out of my mouth but he said because i love you so much i don't want to spend my eternity with you you know i love you so much i have died for you uh -uh, because I have so many people, a great multitude that no one can number that will be with me uh -huh, um, um, in this great rendezvous where they are going to spend their eternity with me. I want you to be there because you know that if he spit someone out of his mouth, there will be no more chance, no more chance for that person um, to spend um, their eternity with him. But he loves us so much. He says, please buy these three things for me. I want you to, to have faith. I want you to, to, to buy my, my righteousness i want you to have spiritual discernment uh, spiritual discernment so you see here um god brings against ministers and people the heavy charge of spiritual feebleness now god calls for a spiritual revival and a spiritual reformation unless this takes place those who are lukewarm will continue to go more abhorrent to the lord unless un until he will refuse to acknowledge them as his children a revival and reformation must take place un under the ministration of the holy spirit in the bible one of um one of the best way we can understand revival you will find it in in the life of of, of man um king manessa king manessa where he if you open your bible in um second chronicles 33 verse um, verse um six you continue reading he said reading he says he sacrificed his children in the fire eh? practiced divination and witchcraft now he took the image he had made and put it in god's temple that's not enough for him now the lord spoke to Manas king manasseh in his people but they they paid no attention so the lord brought against them the army commanders of the king of assyria who took king manessa prisoner put a hook in his in, in his nose but in his distress he sought the favor of the lord his god and humbled himself greatly before the god of his ancestors and when he prayed to him the lord was moved by his entreaty and listened to his plea so he brought him back to jerusalem and into to his kingdom but now the king manessa knew that the lord is god so afterward he rebuilt the outer wall of the city of david that's not enough he, verse 15 he got rid of the foreign gods and removed the image from the temple of the lord uh, uh, he, and removed the image from the temple of the lord so you see in manisa's life you see um you see a revival when he understood that the other gods couldn't do anything for him he called he called upon his god he repented yeah now 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 after that god god answered 
his prayers. God brought him back to his to his land. And now when he, he was brought back to his land, he now what he did, he got rid of the foreign gods and removed the image. This is reformation. Reformation. There must be revival and reformation in our lives. You know, therefore for, for Jesus not to spit us out of his mouth. So it's time for us to be revived. It's time for, for us to be reformed. But not by might nor power but by the by the power of the holy spirit by the holy spirit there is nothing we can do without the holy spirit now um that's it for today you know that god loves you so much and i love you as well bye bye